is Kathy Miller and today I'm going to talk to you about scale. As part of this modelling water course, I'm going to take this pile of blue foam and show you how to create some amazing dioramas with water. But first, I'm going to explain a little about scale. For this course, I've chosen to use four scales to show how the different water techniques look and to show whether those techniques translate across the different sizes. There are four scales, N, H, O, O and 1 to 35. So first up, what is scale? Models are obviously smaller than the real thing. This is a model car against my real car. Wow, that's a big difference. When we talk about scale, we often say 1 over 130. That means something's 130th of the size of the real thing. This one, for example, is N scale, or 1 to 130. That's small, but you have the advantage of being able to run long trains in open scenery. This is a typical N scale boxcar. And this is a little person. You can hardly even see them. It's me going shopping. As you can see, the diorama is much smaller than the others. And it's only 3.6 inches. But it's the same size when scaled back up to reality. Why this size for my dioramas? Well, I chose 12 inches in O scale, and we'll get to that too soon. In reality, this represents 576 inches, or 48 foot in the real world. That's quite a decent size. I decided not to go as small as Z scale, sorry to any Z scales out there, but that's an even smaller scale, at 1 to 220. The most common scale is 1 to 87, or HO scale. Certainly one of the most common for railway modelling. You can get quite a bit in a normal room, although scenery has to be compressed generally to fit. This is a typical HO scale boxcar, and this is a person, me again in a skirt. You can actually see these, they are much easier to model with. I've measured out a 6.6 .6 inch square of the blue foam for my HO diorama. The final railway scale is O scale. With OM30 narrow gauge track, this has become more and more popular. The mainline O scale is much larger than a HO. It's actually eight times as large volume wise and takes up a lot more sort of diorama base or layout. This one is 12 inches square. And the rolling stock, well, Takes quite a lot of that up. I'm still building this kit, I've got as far as painting it. Doesn't even have its trucks on yet. The people are much larger. This little guy's bent over, and I think he's welding. My final scale is 1 to 35, a common military modelling scale. The base is much larger. I love doing dioramas in sort of larger scales, such as O or 1 to 35, because you can pay more attention to the details. Now, this is a striker that I built. That's a 1 to 35 striker. The only person I have is Sam for my Transformers diorama. So there's Sam pointing out something's coming. It's not a normal railroad scale, so I'm not going to put any railroad tracks on it. But it's going to have a rough path and maybe my striker, maybe something else instead. So to recap, I'll be modelling four scales, N, H, O, O, and 1 to 35. I'll do a brief bit on gauges too. What is a gauge and is it the same as scale? No is the short answer. O scale is 1 to 48, but a commonly modelled scale is O, N, 30. That stands for a scale of O, 1 to 48, but a narrow gauge track devoted by the N, but only 30 inches in the inside edge of the rails compared to the normal four, four, eight and a half inches. There are all sorts of narrow gauge models and they're very popular because they offer the opportunity to model a larger scale with all the detail, but the track and rolling stock are comparatively smaller, allowing you to fit more on. Typical prototypes in real life are industrial or logging railways, and it makes them very interesting and they often fit a lot into a small space. 
Well, I know we've been looking a little bit at scales, but do you ever wonder what it'd be like to go inside your models as if you were a small scale person? Well, I found a really exciting device, the shrinkometer. Don't tell anyone about it. But it will shrink you down and put it inside your models. I'm gonna have a go. Let's hope it works. <laughs> Kathy, and I'm here to explore. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, I wonder if I can get up here. I'm going to try exploring. Oh, gosh, that's a long way up. Hey, I'm the scale, Kathy. Who are you guys? You're really small. Are you a hobbit? We're in. And hey, Joe, scale, Kathy's. Guys, I know you're small. Let's go exploring. I'll give you a bit of a hand. <laughs> hey, I'm 1 to 35 scale, Kathy. I'm a typical military modelling scale. I'm a bit tougher than all these guys. You look. Oh! We're in, H.O. And no scale Kathy's. I'm going to have a look around. Well, I can see she's been busy cutting up what looks like blue foam. Doesn't look much fun to live here. I wonder what she's going to do with it eventually. Oof, well, I finally got to the top. It's a long way up here, I can tell you. I've been all around here. There's a big pile, <sighs> pile, one to 35 written on the top. Oh, I think that's gonna be my place. There's a little up at the top here. They may be tall, but all they say on them is N. I think that's the little titchy one in red. Mm. I'm five foot eight and three well, quarters. I'm really yeah. tall. What can I say? I'm average for a woman. Hope she does sleep with them soon. Look a bit boring at the moment. If you're interested in finding out more and following the course, then subscribe to me on YouTube or on my blog by clicking the links on this video. I look forward to you joining me as we carry on modelling water. And as a bonus, click on the link to get your own scale card, including rulers and scale cathies. Alternatively, if you want something a little plainer, there's a scale man version too.